YouTube. Back again, 2017. I love time flies. Um, this is Saturday. I think it's the 7th, 6th, I don't know. Uh, I've been trying to figure out where to start this year off. I've got a few things in the works, and it seems like lately all I've had is ideas. I haven't been able to really make anything happen since the uh, first of the year. No, it's only been a few days, but I feel like I'm slacking here, so I figured a uh, good place to start here will be with the old number two rat. And uh, I've got a spare one of these grill shells that I got from Nightcrawler's 3D. When I bought the uh, yellow Vicky body from him, he sent me an extra grill. And I think it's going to look good on this truck, but we've got to modify it and we've got to mount it. So, in this video, we're going to figure out how we're going to mount this thing up front, how much space we need, how high it needs to sit, and hopefully get it on here. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first step is going to be, um, if you remember on the video where we installed the motor, I had bits and pieces falling off of it left and right. Um, trying, I, I had an issue with one of the bolts, or the screws that held the mount in off the stand. And I had to drill on it and drill on it and cut on it and drill on it to get that fixed. So, a lot of stuff fell off. So, I've got the fan here, which I do want to run because it, it's a pretty good looking fan. So I'm trying to mock up without reattaching just yet where that's going to sit because it looks like I can make that fit right inside the grill. Um, be hard to do this without blocking the camera. So I'm trying to gauge off of the servo how far back my radiator can sit. The fan is not going to allow me to tilt the radiator so it's going to have to be straight up and down which I, I kind of prefer I think. Um, if I can hold this sucker in there. I'll just do it like that. So that puts the tip of it right at the edge of the orange anodized part of the servo. So I'm going to move it forward just a little bit. Make sure we're still going to clear our steering link. Now I've already got a good idea of how I'm going to do all this. Um, I am going to have to cut the grill. And I'm probably going to cut the fins out of it. This was uh, like a second. It has some deformity in the in the fins that's why you just threw it in there so I'm thinking actually running like a metal mesh or something inside of there I've got some real nice black uh, like cloth mesh came with my Tamiya Scania build I had a bunch of extra so maybe something like that um, so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm not gonna cut the sides because it needs to come down and surround the edge of the frame rail let me get you a better angle so it's gonna have to like straddle the servo and the uh, servo mounts um, it looks like, I think, with the edges flat on the uh, frame rail, <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> with the edges flat on the frame rail here, it's going to be just the right height to line up with the cowl. So, I'm going to do some marks and just cut a notch out of it to clear the servo. And that's going to booger up all the teeth, so I may have to go ahead and go trim all those out. Alright guys, so this is what we're looking at now. Um, sitting here debating on how to mount it. I, I had an idea I was going to braise some little metal plates up, but... Honestly, that's a lot of work for little result, and I was thinking I've got the upper mount for the servo, the upper screw that goes to the servo horn, or the servo, sorry, <laughs> the servo mounts, and uh, I was thinking I could just run a longer bolt through there and attach a plate to the, to there, across, using those somehow, and then use some scale hardware to attach it to the grill. And that way... I can remove the servo and the grill as one unit without having to try to fiddle with more little screws and then to get to the servo. Because inevitably, with this engine, stuff's going to come off. I'm afraid that that uh, uh, that fan here is going to break loose. That is all metal, the fan and that, so I don't know how exactly that's going <laughs> to stay glued on very well. Obviously, it fell off once. It'll probably fall off again. Not to mention, it has two rubber bands that go around here and act as a belt. They go to the alternator, 
which is about to fall off too. <laughs> These engines are a pain in the butt, but it sure does look cool. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna tinker with that idea for a little bit. Try to make some little sheet metal mounts that I can just put longer bolts through the servo, mount to the back, and then I can use scale bolts to mount the bottom corner, bottom edge of the grill, and it'll be permanently attached, or not permanently, but attached to the servo, so easy removal. Um, also, in doing it that way, or with the way I'm planning on mounting it together, I can I can angle it if I wanted. I can put it straight. I can do a slight rake. I, I got a lot of options here as far as how I'm going to mount it. So, got some things to play with here. I'm going to do some brainstorming and cut some metal. Alright guys, so you see me make these little angle iron brackets here. Um, this one will be here behind that, angled towards the front. I've drilled my two holes in the side and I've lined them up with my two holes on the grill shell. Same thing for the other side. Um, I think first I'm going to go ahead and mount the metal to the servo and then we'll come back with the scale hardware and mount the grill to the angles and hopefully it all looks good. Alright guys, so there it is. I think it came out pretty good. Um, see it from the side there. It's pretty straight up and down. I really didn't think there's going to be room in there with the fan to lean it back and get that sucker in there. So that's going to fit just perfect. Not sure yet what I'm going to do about the mesh or, or any kind of grill. I've been running around the house looking for inspiration. Thought about using the old fly swatter I have. <laughs> and uh, maybe a, a cheese grater. I can't find one though. <laughs> Different kind of uh, thing there, but I don't know. Just play it by ear. I'm not ready to do that just yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to attach anything to it. So, yep. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in the next video.